and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Legacy of the Lost, a fan game. Let's see, we didn't really talk to everybody in this town yet, so let's do that now. I can still offer stuff. Uh, I don't need stuff, but thank you. Eradication is the expulsion of a curse from one's body. Curse depletes magic power. Curses deplete. Curses deplete magic power and are difficult to remove. I don't need the service. Sorry, I didn't mean to pick that. Um, I don't really need to sleep, but I'll do it. You know, stir the past economy. With future gold! Good thing gold pieces don't change in thousands of years. <laughs> Nor their value. Northern Braden is actually a lush oasis. Unfortunately, there's no easy route to get there. Desert Island. Two Yggdrasils, but they're so expensive, I don't want to buy them. Antidotes. That was from farming slime drops. Um, well, I could buy two more for 500. Just to start getting a stockpile of them. You never know when you'll need them. There's a fake wall inside the spirit shrine. It, it leads to the underground cave network. A fake wall, huh? Well, thank you. Anything back here? Well, yeah, there's a pile of shit, because that's the bathroom for most people. And I just added to my... I just added my own little lush pile there. Mayor's residence, be on your best behavior. He should say talk to the other guard, because they have the same thing to say. Hey, she's hot. <laughs> Check out them pixels. Oh, you poor dear, you must be travelers. How do, how do I know you say? You're sunburned, dear. Hey, a copper sword, free. Um, if you were in Asalam, I think no, it was in Asalam, it was Isis in Dragon Warrior 3, and you talked to somebody walking around the town, she said, Did you walk across here from, from did you walk here from across the desert? Your nose is peeling. That's probably an homage to that. No recipe? Aww. I apologize, but Mayor's in a meeting. Come back another time. Hey look, it's Tornico! It's Taloon! Come here, Taloon! <coughs> Kick ass! I want to talk to that motherfucker. I love that guy. He's my favorite. He's a big, fat, tubby asshole who just, you know, he like he can still fight and stuff. And oh, jars. 150 bucks. I'll take it. Every little bit helps. I used to be a clergyman at the shrine, but with age comes new responsibilities. Actually, with age comes nothing. You just sit in your ass all day. He likes to complain. He talks about his days. Now the younger generation have no respect. Nothing inside. No more bunny chicks. Uh, no, I haven't. The legend says there is a tremendous bird with the power to create endless flame. It's also said that the phoenix can bestow life as well. I still hope it's only just a legend. I don't. Uh, this must be the piss pile. Yeah. They piss in the water because it makes it flavorful or something. I don't know. More bunnies. When she says Baridin, it looks like Barbarian in a way, so, like, welcome to the Barbarians. Well, if you're Amazons, count me in, honey, you look hot. Hmm. Welcome to the Spirit Shrine. Pay your respect to the goddess. There's a fake wall in here, apparently. This music sounds like the stuff in the pyramid of Dragon Warrior 3. The Spirit Guide Us of the Desert is... A Heart Priestess of the Spirit Shrine. He is not from... He's finished. Oh, holy fuck, I need to go to bed soon. Alright. I absolutely love monsters. Well, tamed monsters, that is. Do you have one with you? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. As much as I love the church, I would love to travel and build my own monster army. Well, you can clearly see I have one. Man, this guy's on fucking crack. Look at him go. He's on speed or something. Oh, God, I saw a monster down the basement. I'm sorry, but unless you have official business with Oleon, I cannot let you pass. I love how they clip right through you. It's awesome. Alright. Ooh, a monster. It, it, it's a mad plant. Well, it's a fire sapling. Uh, I'll just attack you. Um, I'll crack you. I'll smog you. And I'll sap you. Smog, no effect. Well, you never know. Sap, it worked. Crack, it worked. Frizz, hashtag 12. Well, you know, that's okay. And accelerate. Well, I probably don't have to. I wonder if 
paralyze will work. No, didn't think so. He's kind of a mini boss. So, Oruba beat the shit out of him. Ooh, 10 damage. That's kind of impressive. Take away 20% of my hit points in one hit. A critical hit. Nice! Uh huh. Iron ore. Oh, no, second item. Ah, oh, fooey. Hey, join my party! Okay, uh, monster book. Fire sapling. Oh, no, 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 go. Oh, he had. He had one more rare drop. I was getting lucky for a while. Ugh. Fig wall, huh? I don't know. I don't see a fake wall. I'm pushing. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's here? No? Nothing? Fake wall, fake wall, fake wall? No fake wall? No. Alright, I'm gonna uh, spike the water so whenever anyone drinks it, I'm just gonna get buzzed. Alright, now what? You kill the beast? Many thanks, Brave Soul. I have no idea how that monster got down there, but you may have... You have my most sincere thanks. Uh, Righto! That was kind of you to help one of our own. Please, go and see the priests. Priest. Something. Well... You really saved me there. Let me offer you my priest services for free of charges. The least I can do. I don't need anything. May the gods be with you. Thank you! Let's go up here and talk to this schmuck. I have a feeling he's a new monster in disguise. Show your greatest respect to the priest. Why? He's not from this area. You know he's a monster. He's an imposter. Welcome to the Spirit Shrine, child of Goddess. My name is Oleon. Ryuza, the head of the priest here. Head priest. Oh, look, look how we lined up. Where's Hatch? I must be sitting on him. Now, he's my chair. I put him there, he, he smushes down, and I sit on him. One of the priests here informed me that a monster had been spotted in the basement of the temple. You got my most sincere thanks for your actions. Why, wow, he was your cousin. I have no idea how a monster could have crept in the temple. I bet you don't. Rest assured that we will be on high alert for the temple. Yeah, okay, whatever. You appear to be both men and women of ample faith. I am sure that the spirits will smile upon you this day. Uh, right? Well, thank you for your most... Thank you for your most warm welcome, as... This is Oruba talking. But allow us to explain why we are here. Oh? We explain the concept of time travel. You should not have done that. So, you know, we need a floodgate of monsters into the future. Time travel? Preposterous! I'm a man of faith, not of fairy tales. No, but you have, we have magic. Please, you must believe us. Besides a monster in this temple, not enough that something malevolent is underway. Please, let us know what we can do to help. All right, in. Please do not worry. If there is an immediate threat to the lives of our people, the spirits would go... I'll... Why do I feel like jerking off at this point? The spirits see all but good things for us. Yeah, the spirits see all but good things for us. I'll bet they do. Your spirits must be wrong! We've explained that we have come from the future, and I can guarantee you that Burton does not meet a happy fate. I am not sure what to tell you. I am sure all of us here appreciate your gesture, but we have nothing to ask of you. Your readiness of the beast in the basement is more than enough. Neither I nor the spirits want you leaving here with doubt in your minds. Please rest assured that we are in gratitude. I don't like this guy. Hey, where you going, Melody? Melody! Oh, Ruba, go get her. Hatch, where'd you go? I guess, he's, I guess he's up my ass now. I don't trust this fucker. Oh, no. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Foreshadowing. I knew it. Well, not really foreshadowing so much as um, that. when you're aware of plot I, devices that the main characters of the story aren't. What's that called? Is there something to worry about? Spirits, what aren't you telling me? Could it be? Ellipses. Question mark. <laughs> oh, boy. Zen, Aruba, what can we do? We know something must go our way in Barden. Yes. But since there is no immediate danger, what can we do? Shall we return to Edric, then? Perhaps there is a shard we missed, and we can proceed to the next island. Well, maybe... Please, I already did that, but you don't 
He's not there anymore. Ha uh ha. -huh. Whatever. Yes, there's a... I don't want to go back to Enrique right now. What I want to do is find where that hidden wall is and keep going. Oops. I'm never going to get used to them not putting you on the stair. Ever. One more try, guys. One more try. Even though I'm pretty sure you can't because see how you're like in between the symbols? Not necessarily on them. Alright. Oh, uh, Hatch, you smell funny. It's time for you to shower. Okay. I can do here. Well, can't do any more damage around this popsicle stand. I'm out of here. Oops. Hey, you can... Ah, two new enemies. Well, now I know what I'll be doing for the next three hours. Tomorrow. On my free time. I'll be grinding the hell out of these fireweeds and shit. Just try to get their rare drops and the venom slug. You've been poisoned. That's okay. I have tons of antidotes. I won't need the services of the priest for quite some time. So whenever you feel like Pestering me with poison, go right ahead. Alright. Be nice if I get some drops on camera here, just so you guys can you know, see it and share my joy, my jubilation. Cotton thread. Hmm, which one which one dropped the cotton thread? The slug or the weed? I'm gonna say the weed did. Let's find out. Fireweed, yes! Venom slug, one of twenty. Alright, well, no problem. You are screwed, so let's let's fix you up. She said say go back. But I have a help desk. Maybe the help desk will let me know. You know what? I'm gonna go there, but I'm gonna save you the eff the uh, trouble of watching. Okay, back at the Oracle. See if he has anything to tell me different. On the side of a large mountain lies a great treasure. Really? We've already done that. Alright, I guess he's not going to help us for the time being, so let's go back to the future. Let's go see our king, shall we? Let's see if he has anything to say. Alright, cutscene time. Zen, my boy, we have most certainly seen the results of your hard work here on Arganola. Just recently, no set of islands has emerged on the ocean front. It has? Keep up the good work, Zen. That was weird. Just look at this. The world is most certainly expanded. The king has given you permission to travel. Right then. It's not red anymore. That much that just must be the most recent one that appeared. Okay. Suddenly Barden is here. And it's gone. It's dead. It's destroyed. We knew it. Oh my god, what happened here? And where's Hatch? <laughs> He's not here. He's up my ass again. This destruction. Look at this bee. Well, the land is here, but the town really isn't. We tried to... Is this like the many trials of uh, whatever it was in 7? Like, you keep going back and forth over and over again. Why, though? Why did Harden emerge if it meant such a fate? Don't know. Oh, that was my favorite shop. This is absolutely horrible. Speak to us. What happened here? What was that? Many Trials of London, I think it was called. Oh, the spirits! Melody, you have the power to talk to the dead. Help us. <laughs> uh, I'm not liking the look of this. Do not be alarmed. Listen to our play. <laughs> The portal is there. It wouldn't be there in the flashback. Only we know of that portal. There seems to be a landmass on the left. I can just see the outline. 
and here's some land as well. There's a tree island that you can't step on. A bunch of little islands and shit. Man, I need to go to bed, but I'm gonna finish this episode first. It's an archipelago! It's a bunch of islands. Alright. Ah, I see. It's the pyramid! No, I hated the pyramid! Well, we have one just like it here. But you haven't said anything yet. My minions, heed my call. I'm not really sure who's talking here, so... Probably that thing on the top. Go, oh, my little minions! Look at these little plants! I have to feed my plants. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> That's an Angel of Darkness reference, another hentai. Well, they never said it in the movie, but my friend goes, he's just feeding his plant. It was like the second movie. Angel of Darkness 2, I think there were three. To abide by the will of our master, Barden must fall. Let the destruction commence, bring forth hellfire and despair. Ah, the phoenix is going to take all these guys. All ten of them, really? Are we going to have to watch all ten go in procession? Yes, we are. Couldn't they have just walked all as one? Was it more programming work to make them all walk as one than in each individual? I'm, I'm just I'm just curious. I'm not judging. Probably, because they all have to go at once. Alright, whatever. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I'm alright. I ain't mad. A bird is one hell of a bird. It's kind of like the rock bird in Greek mythology. The rock was a gigantic bird. R-O-C, I think. Uh, in, in Age of Mythology, you can build rocks and they can transport even elephants. It's fucking awesome. Uh... Oh, look, it's the Firebird. Now I just go drop one on your neighbor there. Hey, how'd I guess? Oh, no! It's a plant! If those plants are the ones like on Angel of Darkness, oh, my God, dude, those chicks are fucking screwed. The stamen is gonna just rape them, man. <laughs> I'm a horrible person with a shriveled heart, man. I have a little black apple for a heart. So please help us. How did you know I came from there? Like, I could just be any wandering traveler. She's afraid of ghosts, Melody. That cutscene where she backs up. I don't like the look at this. That's proof. Okay, now that everything's destroyed, is there like something I could find before the village comes back? Like, I know Marsh is poisonous to touch and all, but... If I plant grass on it, will it just negate it? Because I'm just, I'm just curious how you transpose the marsh. Alright, what's up here? Well, I want to know. Oh, look, weeds and stuff. It's all overgrown and shit. Oh, I can finally see what's back. Right? Oh, really? The altar's still in the way? you think it would be crumbled. It would all be dilapidated and you could just walk across it and then go check out that door. Of course, you don't have the key. Just because it looks like the shrine key door doesn't mean shit. I'm just curious, because I still remember that hidden wall shit he talked about. And it's probably in totally a different section. Alright. Yes, the many trials of Lindum all over again. Just in pyramid form. Alright. Yes, let's return to the world map. And now that we have a plot point, I'm going to go back to my main place, man. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording when I get back to the shrine, but uh, we'll walk to it. It'll take about a minute so I can talk to you guys longer. So how y'all doing? Yeah, good? Good? How's your mom? Good? Yeah? I like shaking hands. <laughs> My mind goes in all sorts of different directions when I'm playing. I'll quote a movie just totally out of context, like that I just did. You gotta get used to that. I'm so random. I'm, I'm almost brownie in movement. That's how random I am. Alright. Well, I'd say we're pretty much done with this episode. I wonder if I can get up there before the 20 minute mark. Uh, uh, gotta get up. Yes, I did! Okay, see you later. Bye.